everyone and welcome to my channel. This video that I am shooting today, you will be witnessing my very first diamond painting unboxing. And just to give you a little background on how this started, um, I wanted to get into what I call the art of blingistry. Um, blinging out items, uh, whether it be a pair of shoes, whether it be a microphone, some lipstick, a hat. Um, I just wanted to do it for fun and just bling it out with gems. Now, some people do this for a living. You know, they bling out like a pair of Converse and they'll sell them on Etsy or eBay or something. I just wanted to do it for fun. Um, I was watching some videos on YouTube. Um, and I saw a lady doing it, and I was like, that looks like fun. I just want to do that just for arts and crafts. And I also like maybe one of the things I do on the side, like just calligraphy as a hobby, and then another hobby of just blinging out stuff. If I can make a little money doing it, hey, great, but I'm not doing it for that. And um, to just start, I just started searching YouTube, and, and there's certain uh, people who do it that I was just following and getting advice from them and purchasing items. But in my search, I was typing in like blinged out, and somehow diamond painting came up. I think it was like blinged out canvas or something. And diamond painting came up and I'm like, what is that? And it was like these little square beads on paper. I was like, ooh, that looks tedious and boring. I don't know if I'd want to do that. But as I kept searching and watching videos on it, I saw where they had the square, I mean, the round drills. And I was like, oh, that's more like um, what I'm trying to do. And then I saw the, what's called the special drills with the actual like stones like the crystals and I was like that's it that would be a good way to learn how to start doing this how to place stones a small stone on um, an item you know and how to properly place them and position them and the tools to use because it's very similar with the diamond painting um, the tools you can use you can use the same tools that you would bling out a pair of sneakers with to diamond paint with so I was like let me try this so, uh, and then um, I started doing more research, and one uh, YouTuber I saw, she has a lot of uh, crystal canvases. Uh, I think her name is Craft Love Forever. So I was watching a lot of hers, and I was like, I have to do this. So I ordered me some. But the problem was, I, I ordered, most of them I ordered are from AliExpress. Actually, they all are from AliExpress, because that's about the cheapest you can go. I searched Amazon, and there's these other sites people suggest like Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Design, but those are like mad expensive. They're like really expensive. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm going to like this yet, so I don't think I want to spend $54.98 on something that I may not even complete. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. So I ordered from AliExpress, and I think the most expensive one was still about 41 bucks, which is high. But that's that huge... A crystal cottage painting that if you go to craft love forever's page you'll see it and I was like I gotta do that so that was the most expensive because of the shipping and it better be the right one because there's two versions one is real crappy version and one is right but I'll get into that in another video when the canvas actually arrives but I got impatient and I didn't want to wait anymore so here we are I ordered this from Amazon and um yeah, it, it's mainly because I was impatient because I know this exact same canvas. I know I could have got this on AliExpress for half the price because most people, like, don't don't buy your um, uh, diamond paintings off of Amazon. That's just my opinion. I mean, you can buy them if you want, but I've noticed, and I, I spent research over about an hour looking. Most of those um, canvases that you get on Amazon, you can get on AliExpress. They buy them from AliExpress and they resell them. They double the price on Amazon, like this one. But anyway, I just got impatient because the, the shipping time for uh, AliExpress is ridiculous. I've been waiting over a month now. So I bought this one because this came in like two and a half freaking days. So here we go. So I'm going to unbox this and see what we got. Now, as I mentioned, I wanted to do the crystal canvases. But, like I said, I got impatient and I just wanted to just try one and get started. Um, so, if this is what I think it is, which it has to be, I'm pretty sure of it. I don't believe this is um, 
from another place. But we shall see, because I ordered a few. Um, it doesn't really look like Amazon, but I believe it is Amazon. It's just a third-party Amazon. That's why it's not in the Amazon box. I'm pretty sure this is the one. It was supposed to come tomorrow. But they did put it in a box. It's not in a package. It's just a plain standard shipping box. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. What the hell is this? What the hell? What is this? I didn't order this. Wait a minute, you guys. Hold on. What is this? So I was molded. I thought this was a diamond painting. I actually don't know what the hell this is. I think they sent me the wrong thing. What is this? I'm not quite sure what this is. So at this point, I'm going to have to stop this video because I'm new to uh, YouTube and I don't want to be cussing. So let, let me find out what this is and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So what happened was I, um, as I was mentioning, I ordered a few things um, from AliExpress, from Wish, from Amazon that I'm waiting to arrive. One of the things I ordered was a light pad um, because I realized like sometimes my eyes aren't the best and um, that light pad would help me. And some of you say, well, you're putting the cart before the horse, getting a light pad and stuff, and you don't know if you'll like it. No, I draw and stuff, so I can still use it regardless. And it was a cheap price, so I went ahead and got it. It was, I think, $10 with shipping and everything all together. But look what they sent me. This is from the company that was supposed to send me the light pad. Um, and as you saw um, during the break, you saw the item I ordered, and you can see what they sent me here. And you're like, well, mistakes happen. No, this was no mistake. It's fraud. Um, it, it happens quite a bit. And what happens is, because um, like I said, I'm in business. So you have to check out my business channel. What happens is you request an item from a seller. Let's say the seller is selling you um, a laptop. And you order this laptop from this third-party seller. But you get like 10 books in a box that arrive. There's like these 10 big heavy books. And you're like, hey, this is not what I ordered. I ordered a uh, laptop. You sent me the wrong item. So guess what? You have to put in a dispute with Amazon. You have to request a uh, refund. But to do that, you have to return the items. And a lot of times you have to pay for shipping. So let's say those 10 heavy books to ship those back to the seller. It may cost... Actually, I don't know if computer was the best item we will say like a tablet you ordered a tablet and then you got like these four heavy books in the mail or five heavy books so the price that um it'll cost you to send those four heavy books back will be the price you pay for this little cheap run-of-the-mill tablet so you're like well i'm just paying for shipping to get the item so most of the time you'll be like never mind forget it and, of course, the, the seller may get negative reviews and everything, but they still got your money at the end of the day, and then they'll be selling to someone else. Um, but with me, they don't know me, so I've already requested a refund, and I've already gotten it back through my financial institution, and I have put a negative review for this seller online. I will return this piece of crap. I don't even... If somebody know what this is, can you leave this in the comments? What the hell is this? Uh, uh, tell me what that is. I don't even know what that is, but this was not in the description at all. You saw the listing. I don't know what that is, but I know it's heavy. It's weight, and if I have to pay to send this back, it's going to be more than the item I purchased because this is probably going to be $10, $15 to send that back. Even if they send, because they may send me a return label, but I have to pay for shipping because most of the time when you return stuff, you have to pay for shipping. 
And most people don't do that. And that's how you wind up keeping the money because you're just like, I ah, forget it. Excuse me, I hit the camera. Um, so yeah, that's what happened here, but I've already been refunded. I've already uh, disputed it. Um, so if they send me a label, I will send this back to them, but I'm not paying to ship it back. Then I'm just going to be stuck with this and they get nothing because they mess with the wrong person. I've done this many times. So yes. So in future, if you have an issue with an Amazon seller, this wasn't the video I was trying to get into because this would be more on my business channel. But if you have a, a dispute with an Amazon seller, follow the proper protocol. If it's within, the problem is it took a long time for this item to arrive. So I didn't want to wait too much longer to dispute it with my financial institution because you're waiting like two or three weeks. It's like, hey, you know. But I was like, well, I had to wait for the product to ship and stuff. Um, but just, just do what um, the site suggests. And if you're still having a problem with the seller, then also dispute it with your credit card, debit card, whatever um, you have. And show them pictures, whatever they need for their investigation. Just make sure you have that. Um, but with my institution, I've never had a problem, and my money's always credited, and it's pretty much like they take my word because I don't really dispute like that. And another thing, Amazon has so many claims filed against them from credit card holders. So as soon as you say, like, Amazon on your credit card, as soon as you say Uber, they pretty much going to believe you. Like, oh, yeah, we have a lot of Uber fraud. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of Amazon fraud. So you're, you're pretty much going to get your money back already. But I, I just tell you, greed, y'all. Greed is a son of a gun. It, it, it's just greed. You always want what you can't have, and when you can have it, you want more. Ain't that a shame? But anyway, that's what this was, so I just wanted to come back and update you because I had to calm myself down, and I had to take care of this immediately. I, I don't sleep on stuff. I have to go ahead and take care of it. So I did, and now I'm just waiting on the... Darn, I keep hitting that waiting for the um, seller to reply and then when they do I will send this piece of whatever this is back but like I said if you know what it is let me know I'm just curious I still don't want it it's not what I ordered so now as far as that light pad I have to go back on Amazon and I'm gonna go to a credited seller because this seller um, there was no reviews on this item and I, I, I don't normally order like that but the price looked pretty good so that was my fault but I have ordered stuff from sellers before that had no reviews and it was fine but um he has feedback the seller but it's for other items but he does have quite a bit of negative feedback so i would never order from this seller again um i think it's it's spelled d-i-s-e-a so if you see that seller don't order from them all right well thanks for watching but this is a lesson learned but this is not the diamond painting so that should be coming tomorrow but it's going to be in a box like this. That's why I thought that's what this was. So I will post that video um, when it comes. But as far as this, this is closed. This case is closed. Um, I'll send this back when he sends a label. And I've already been refunded my money. Um, and now i got to order another light pad. And once that comes, I'll do a box opening for that. Thanks for watching.